a lesson, French lesson for standard 8. As you know, we already got one class, only one class, in which I uh, taught you the alphabet from A to Z and numbers from 1 to 10. So I'll just repeat them once for your information so that you can refresh your memory. So I'm repeating <coughs> the alphabet. A, B, C, D, U, F, G, H, E, G, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, E, Z. And the numbers from 1 to 10 are, as you know, you were taught. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we will continue from there. As you know in the alphabets there are vowels and consonants. So in French also we have vowels and consonants. Which are the vowels you know already? We have A, E, I, O, U in English. The same vowels continue in French. So we have the vowels A, E, I, O and U. In addition in French Y is also considered is a vowel. So your Igerk is also a vowel. Now, apart from this, we have the accents. We have the accents. That means on letters, there are accents like this. For example, on E, there's an accent like this. On E, there's an accent like this. On a E, there is an accent like this. On E, there's an accent like this. So, this accent is called ague. This one is called grave. This one is called circumflex. And this one is a tremor. So, similarly, on most of the vowels, there are these accents. For example, the ague accent, the grave accent, the circumflex accent, and the tremor accent. On A also, they can be like this. On O also, they will be like this. So, you will learn them as we proceed with the spellings of words. So, now you know that these are the vowels and these type of accents exist in French. Now, we go on to my next topic, which happens to be very, very important. In French, unlike in English, there are genders. What is a gender? It means masculine and feminine. For example, in English we know that a man is masculine, woman is feminine. But in French we consider the table also as feminine, the desk as masculine. So even inanimate objects happen to be either masculine or feminine. So you have the masculine. and the feminine, femina. So, this also we will learn as we progress with the vocabulary. But before we go on to that, I will start with the article. What is an article? In English, we say a boy or a girl or the boy and the girl. What is the difference between a and the a uh, is an indefinite. I am talking of any boy. Whereas when I say the, I mean a particular boy. So, article can be definite article or indefinite article. But in English, sometimes you don't use the article. We say, I go to school. But in French, you cannot do that. Every noun has to be preceded by an article. It is compulsory. Either you use a indefinite article or you use the definite article. So you happen to say I go to the school or I go to a school. Now article depends on number. What is the number? Singular and plural. So you have a this is singular for a male that is masculine whereas un is singular for a 
feminine. For example, un garçon. When we say un garçon, it means a boy. Whereas when we say une fille, it means a girl. What is the difference? Un and une. Same thing, if we are talking of a definite boy and a definite girl, we say le garçon, that is the boy, and la fille, that is the girl. So, you have seen that article can be either indefinite or definite. In addition, it can be either a masculine article or a feminine article. Now, apart from this, is we are talking of singular, when there is only one. If there are many, then there will be a uh, and you will become they. And le and la becomes le. So, we have seen masculine singular, feminine singular, and plural in indefinite. Similarly, indefinite we are seeing masculine singular, feminine singular and plural. So, you have to learn these. These are very important because without articles you cannot use a noun. Your articles are defini and undefini. L'article defini, l'article undefini. Muscular and femina. L'article defini in mas masculo is le. L'article defini in femina is la. L'article undefini in masculo is a. L'article undefini in femina is un. Now, plural for both. This will be le and this will be de. Now, here. It doesn't matter whether it is masculine or feminine. In both cases it is le, in both cases it is de. So I will give you, you can open your book to your lesson number one and you can see some nouns. They have spoken about some nouns. For example, a nom. A nom. A man, whereas the man, I love to say l'homme. Now, here you notice that I have used L apostrophe. Whether it is E or A, it gets cancelled. That is because H they, is treated as a vowel. H is treated as a vowel. Apart from Y, I had mentioned Y. Apart from Y, H also is treated as a vowel. So when a word starts with a vowel, that le or la becomes l apostrophe. So a nom, l'om, a man, the man. Whereas woman, it will be un femme, a woman or the woman. How will we say it? the woman? It will be la femme. Instead of le, I'm using la. Here why I'm using l apostrophe? Because this starts with a h, which is treated as a vowel. For, so now you know, a man, the man. A woman, the woman. How will we say the men, many men? I will say les hommes. And les femmes. These are plural. Many men, many women. So, 
des hommes. Une femme, des hommes, les So, for plural, un, yun becomes de, des, and le, la becomes le. Have you understood? So, here we, I'll give you some more examples. Now we talk, we spoke about living beings. What about non-living beings? As I said, in French, even inanimate objects have a gender. That means they are either masculine or feminine. So we will see. We will talk about the words which we normally use in a classroom. For example, <coughs> we have livre. What is livre? Book. Now, livre is always masculine. So it will be only le livre or un livre. So what do I mean by le livre? The book. What do I mean by un livre? A book. And livre happens to be masculine. Now don't ask me why. Because it's already decided by the French that certain things are masculine, the other things are feminine. Now the same thing with la table. What is table? Table. But it happens to be feminine. The table. Similarly, since it is feminine, on will become yun. So here we are talking of the table, a definite table which you know, or a table, any table, yun table. Now, how will you make it plural? As we already saw, now that a and yun will become they. That a and yun will become de table. Some tables. And le, sorry, le and la will become le. And a and yun will become de table. So we had seen earlier, a and yun, which are indefinite articles, in plural they become de. Le and la are definite articles. In plural, they become le. So, have you understood? So, le livre, how will you make this one plural? It will become le livre. How will you make this one plural? A book will become some books. So, your day is some, whereas le is the. The book, the books. A book, some books. Have you understood? So, in your lesson number one, in your textbook, there are some, there is some vocabulary. For example, you have kaye. What is kaye? They have given you some images, pictures. Kaye happens to be the exercise book. Livre happens to be the textbook. So, in English, we say textbook and exercise book. In French, they say livre and cahier. So if you see your lesson number one, un livre, un cahier, un stylo, stylo is a pen, un crayon, pencil, a back, bench. For example, the other one, they have given you some feminine nouns. Une serviette, that is a school bag. Yun gom, that's the rubber eraser. Yun rag, ruler. Yun table, we already have seen, table. Yun chaise, chaise is chair. So now you have learned that nouns should always be compulsorily preceded by articles. The article can be either definite or indefinite and singular and plural. In all cases, nouns have to be preceded by articles. So, you can learn the vocabulary from your lesson number one. I have, now will teach you what is verb. You know parts of speech. In grammar, you have learnt about nouns, which we already know. Articles, which we already saw. Verbs. What are verbs? Verbs are words of action. 
they denote action. For example, I am. What is am? To be. He is. She is. We are. You are. They are. Here it is denoting action. To be. Another word. To have. I have. You have. He has. She has. To have. We are having something. I have a book. So, I am going to teach you two verbs today which are very, very important in French. The first one is être. Être e with a circumflex t r e. Here, this one means to be. So, être is a verb which means to be. So, now, when I'm talking to be, of being, you can say, I am, je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, nous sommes. Vous êtes. Ils sont. Elles sont. So, here we have seen the verb être. Être means to be. Now, this is the first person. I am talking of myself. Je means I. Tu means you. For a singular Il is for a masculine. He. L is for feminine. She. Here, no. No means many of us. We. Here, who means many of you. Ils. I L S. Here, I L. Here, I L S. So, that is for masculine plural. They. More than one person. Here, L. Where all are feminine, but they are in plural. So, you have to learn this. These are very, very important. It's called a conjugation. What do you mean by conjugation? This is a verb. It has to be conjugated. For example, être will be conjugated like this. Je suis, S-U-I-S, tu es, E-S, il est, E-S-T, L est, E-S-T, nous sommes, S-O-M-M-E-S, vous êtes, E with a circumflex, T E S Il son El son So I will repeat for you You have to repeat And then learn it by heart There is no other way You have to by heart this So you can say after me Je suis Tu es Il est Elle est Nous sommes Vous êtes Ils sont so, now if you have noticed, I have connected this with this. And when I say vous êtes, this S sounds like Z. Vous êtes. Because this is a vowel. I'm connecting it to the consonant. So I repeat once more. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est. Nous sommes, vous êtes. Ils sont, elles sont. Now, how does it translate in English? Je suis means I am. Tu es means you are. I'm talking of one person, you. Il est means he is. Elle means she is. No some means we are many people, but all of us are first person. Who that means you are many of you. Is so means all are masculine and it's they. They are. And else so means they are again, but there's a difference. Now we go to the second verb, which is very very important. After ethra comes our. 
Our means to have. These two verbs are very very important, very very elementary. They are the primary two verbs on which the language depends. So, at and our. Now, this is the conjugation for our. Again, we have j that is I have, you are, you have, il a, he has, elle a, she has, nous avons. Again, I am com combining this. So, s sound becomes z. Nous avons, we have, many of us. Vous avez, you have, many of you. Ils ont, ils ont, again I am combining, elles ont. So, s becomes z. Whereas, when I said, when I said, ils sont, in the previous verb, it means they are, for males. And, also, they are for females. Here, have you seen the difference? This is O-N-T and this is S-O-N-T. So, what is the difference in pronunciation? This becomes ilzo and this becomes ilso. So, S remains S, sir. And this O combined with S becomes Z. So, il so means they are, el so means they are. Whereas, il o means they have and el o means they have. You will have to learn this conjugation as well. The spellings and the pronunciation. So, repeat after me. Je, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. So that is all.